Hello, children. Welcome to Halloween in the Polytunnel of Doom on After School Hope. Ah! <laughs> How are you? It's Halloween here on After School Hub. I have my spooky cardigan on, and I thought today that we might talk a little bit about something that you can use as part of your Halloween costume, but also we'll talk a little bit about science. It's about blood. 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 Now, wait, before, if anyone's squeamish, relax. I am not going to get blood or throw it everywhere or do anything like that I'm going to show you what blood is talk about it but doing it through models so we're going to get to make and play today and that should be fine so what we're going to talk to you today about is what blood's made up of and it's made up of four kind of parts that we're going to talk about red blood cells white blood cells platelets and plasma right now I'm just going to use this stuff and in various parts of the country, this is called different things. It's called uh, Mala, Marla. Uh, I call this uh, Ray, uh, Cleta, and uh, John, but uh, it's up to you, whatever you want to call it yourself. So we're going to make a model of blood. And the first bit we're going to make is the red blood cells. And they're all shaped in kind of a, in kind of a ball. So if you roll into a ball and then you kind of start pressing in the middle and making it into kind of a bowl shape, and it's kind of got a little bit of a lip on the edge. So I'll show you this in a second. Now, red blood cells, the job that they do is that they take oxygen around your body and they take carbon dioxide as well. But they're like for transporting oxygen primarily is their main job. So getting oxygen from your lungs through your heart, pumped through your arteries all the way around your body to your muscles and then going through the veins back into your heart. So here you have it. So they're kind of like a shape, kind of like that. It's kind of like a disc kind of shape there like this. And I'm going to put it down here on this yellow sheet of paper. This yellow sheet of paper is yellow because that's the plasma. So if you ever get a cut and sometimes at the edge you kind of see a kind of clear yellowy liquid, that's the plasma. That's what red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets float in. White blood cells. Now they are bigger than red blood cells, so I'm gonna need more of this. So they're in a, a ball kind of shape, like a kind of a golf ball, but they have kind of like stringy bits coming out of them. So again, start by rolling it into a ball. Their job is to kind of fight off infection, bacteria and all the things that, might, that are inside uh, your body that are gonna make you sick. So they are kind of uh, sitting around protecting. Now there's way less of them. So if you were making your own blood model, you'd probably do loads and loads and loads of red ones and only a few of these ones. They're like a sphere, like a kind of like a ball, golf ball, but they have these arms sticking out of them. So you have to kind of pinch and take a little bit. So if I do that and do this, you can see it there. If I kind of pinch and pull, and you're getting these kind of like spikiness around. And it's all over the place. So here you have the white blood cell. Now it looks like a bit spiky. It's a good shape, but it should that should be smaller again. And there should be way more red blood cells than white blood cells. Finally, the last bit that I'm going to use is platelets. And platelets jobs. Anybody know? Anyone at home know? Their job is to. You ever get a cut? Uh, what what forms on a cut after you get it? Ah, uh, scab. So what they're doing is allowing new skin to grow under them. And what platelets do, their job is to stop you bleeding. They are a clotting agent. And what that means is that the blood gets thick. Once it hits oxygen, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. They start knitting together and they start forming a bond or a scab to stop the blood coming out and help you repair. Now, they are kind of like, I'd imagine, even know what a starfish looks like? I kind of imagine that they're kind of like a starfish, but they have much longer arms. This is my platelet, what I think a platelet looks like, and I'm going to put it down on this, again, not to scale. Really, really easy. And you've learned about blood without getting squeamish, which is good, but... For the next bit, you know, at Halloween, one of the things that we want to do potentially is make people feel squeamish with our scary characters. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to try a little recipe to make our own fake blood. For this, you will need some flour. I have corn flour. Uh, I have some normal uh, maple syrup. Uh, I have some food coloring. I have some, a little bit of blue, I have a bit of red, and I have some spoons to measure. So firstly, take our flour and take a teaspoon. And with that, we take one teaspoon. I'm gonna take some of it and I'm gonna put it into the bowl. Next, we're gonna get some food coloring. I have some red food coloring and we're gonna take some of that and we're gonna put half a teaspoon of that into this. And I'm gonna pour that into that. Oop, I've spilled a little bit into there. And then I'm gonna put some syrup in here. 
blub, blub, blub. So this is a tablespoon of, oh, oh, I shouldn't, but. No, later, later, later. Okay, okay, I'll do that. So I just put, there we go, I put a teaspoon, a tablespoon of this in. I'm gonna slide, oh, it's so deliciously sugary. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple of tiny little blobs of blue. Not like much, not like a tablespoon, just a couple of drops. Just to make it a little bit darker. So, here we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix it all together. And what I should get eventually is this. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like blood. It looks like blood that like it's come out and it's, it's like with the platelets it's starting to clot a little bit and then you can kind of smear and be like, uh, oh the blood, like a vampire down. But the best thing about this is because it's maple syrup and corn, it's edible too. Don't fall asleep because you might wake up and find your dog licking your face. But you look like Halloween, you've learned about blood and what it's made up of. You can make your own fake blood. This is the perfect thing of science, fun, and Halloween. Send in your versions, your models, and try to make them as accurate as possible. There should be more red blood cells, bigger white blood cells, and platelets with the long stringy arms and smallness. Have a bit of fun. Go out and explore. Send us in your versions. We'd love to see them. RTE.ie forward slash learn. See you soon. <laughs>